Hey guys, what's up? So Kaj received a lot of changes here on Advanced Server and included is the introduction of a new debuff called Paralyze. What it does is slow the enemy for a short period and then lower their damage by 4% which can stack 6 times. And this new Paralyze effect is now included in all of Kaja's skills. Another big change is his first skill where they added a heal effect each time it hits an enemy hero. The more enemy hero you hit, the more heal you will get. It also has a new feature that can lower its cooldown when hitting enemy units. That's minus 0.25 seconds for each enemy hero that is hit. But before we continue with the skills, let me just disturb the enemy jungler. Who do we have here? Oh, a marksman jungler. And he's getting a little aggressive. Demon, there's nowhere for you to run. Uh, maybe a little help here, Zilong. Zilong? I guess he was too busy killing Ricky. Anyway, in this game, I'll be testing Kaja's changes here on Advanced Server. I'll be our team's roamer and I'll be using this build together with the support emblem. I think with the new Paralyze, Kaja can now focus more on supporting his teammates. It can lower the enemy's damage for up to 24% and that is huge when it comes to late game. Previously, he was too reliant on his ultimate. If it's on cooldown, his other skills aren't that great for supporting. So while Zilong is taking the turtle, I'm gonna scout the area to look for any enemies. We got the turtle. Time to clean up this necro keep party. With the new Paralyze effect, I think anti Karas is going to be a good item for Kaja. Its unique passive can lower the enemy's physical attack whenever a skill hits the owner. Combine it with the damage reducing effect of Paralyze and the enemy will have very little damage left. With Zilong jungling, I'm gonna stay here a bit to give him vision. few more seconds before my ultimate is ready. Here we go. Wait, no one's here. Just like before, a tank Kaja will always need his allies to get a kill. I think with these new changes, full damage Kaja will not be as effective as before. To fully utilize his new skills, you will need to stay longer on the battlefield to inflict Paralyze on your enemies. And to do that, you have to build defense items to survive and somehow sustain yourself during team fights. Removing 24% of the enemy's damage is a big thing and it will be a waste if you die quickly because of a full magic build. One more with Vexana, but this time I have Cyclops paying full attention. Our offlane is asking for help, so let's give it to him. Okay. I just saw Faramis going in the bush. Hello there. Kill. 
7 minutes in the game and we have a pretty Where good I lead. Go. But our mid laner was ambushed just now. Time to provide backup. I think we won that fight with a 2 for 3 exchange. The turtle is about to turn into a lord, but our jungler is too occupied. And I was one second late. Too bad. Good thing we have Badang here, trapping himself by accident. So the level 1 lord is available, and our team is planning to take it. But the enemies don't want to give it up easily. We got the Lord and now it's time to retreat. One thing to remember with this new heal is that it only works on enemy heroes. The heal will not take effect when it hits jungle creeps or minions. So with the Lord marching on bottom lane, we managed to push their middle tower. Run Cyclops run! Almost, but not quite. Thank you for the new Paralyze effect. Now we're just looking to pick them one by one while waiting for the next Lord Respawn. And this is where Kaja shines best. He is extremely good in team ganks because of his ultimate. Mega kill. We got their tank and now time for the Lord again. So we got the level 2 Lord with no problem. We just need to wait for a bit until the Lord arrives. I'm gonna scout the area just to be sure. Where I go, the And our Zilong just went 1 versus 5 for no reason at all. Serious? Then, after respawning, the enemies have defended properly and now they're marching at our middle lane. And there goes Zilong again, thinking only an army can stop him. The Lord is on cooldown, so we're gonna pick them off again, one by one. Nowhere you can hide. 
they got too careless there. Luckily, my team was able to get another lord. But upon resurrecting, three of them are dead. We shouldn't engage because of their numbers, but our Cho thinks otherwise. The power of pure lightning. Initiate retreat. And now he's dead. My teammates are all too brave for their own good. I thought I could reach Vexana right here. Come here, you little. Good thing my teammates are there, and while the enemies were chasing me, our minions destroyed their top lane. And there goes Zilong again, going full kamikaze. Damn it! And now I'm dead. After reviving, the level 3 lord is now available. Time to pick them off again, which is what Kaja is good at. Enemies are down, but the reinforcements are here. Good thing Zenong and Blood were there to finish the job. And we also got the level 3 Lord. Now we're gonna wait patiently right here until one of them comes out. Please, guys, no more 1 versus 5 fights. I'm not gonna use my ultimate on Franco because I'm reserving it for Moskov. No and now I spotted Moskov all alone outside their walls. What can you say about Kaja's new skills? Is it better now? Share it in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching. Victory!